Morning, right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's face shave and a sample. Sample on shave series, as we go over a sample I've never tried before, something from this is not necessarily a company, it could be a scent, it could be a scent profile, it could be a company, it could be anything. In this case, it's a different scent from a company that I've actually had the lovely chances of getting, uh, uh, getting exposed to, and I'm pretty happy with so far. But before we get into that, let's get into holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Dolphin Day. I actually have a lot of uh, interesting feelings about those. <clears throat> They're very intelligent social animals, and they are a lot more like us than uh, most people realize. You can find out more information about them and other projects that are out there in order to uh, preserve the habitats of the dolphins. At uh, It's called dolphinproject.com. Check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. Irony about that, actually. It's funny because... You know, with everything going on, I find it ironic that everyone who is told to stay home and how unhappy people are with doing so and people really want to be able to go out and roam free, yet these same people, or many of us, <clears throat> have no problem going and watching a dolphin jump through hoops, which is forced to stay in captivity against its will. I find that those two things just a little ironic. <clears throat> it's... Not okay for us, but it's okay for them. Eh, something to think about. Anyway, that's my soapbox. All right, <clears throat> moving on to the shave. We're going into Southern Witchcrafts, Sam Hain. This is the sample I have from the next sample I have from them. I got a couple of things. Uh, this was uh, this shave of the, or sample of the shave. A sample in a shave series. I'll get it right. <clears throat> it's early. Give me a break. All right, this was brought to you by Joe Caton. Thank you very much, Mr. Joe. We're going to take a healthy sample out of this, and uh, just like the others, it's that kind of creamy texture. Push that into the bowl here. <clears throat> Alright, that's pushed into the CD shaving bowl. As far as the scent on this is concerned, to me, it's, it's, it's very... It's almost earthy. Um, the scent, let's see, it is a vegan base. Uh, it's They call it Samhain because uh, Samhain is a Gaelic festival that's marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter or the darker half of the year. So this might even be considered a seasonal scent, <clears throat> something that most people would probably use in October. However, I have it now, so I'm going to use it now. Um, again, it is a vegan base. currently listed on... Is sixteen dollars for a four ounce tub, and the matching aftershave is fifteen. Four ounce bottle, both available at southernwitchcrafts.com. Uh, the notes in this are bourbon, tobacco, pumpkin, sandalwood, nutmeg, oud, incense, amber, vanilla, hazelnut, charred wood, and musk. Wow, <clears throat> and a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, as I said, it, it, to me, it, I get kind of an earthy. I do get the nutmeg off this, but it's interesting because a lot of times nutmeg in soaps for me, I usually get a chocolate sense out of it. I don't in this. It's just a, it's almost like a nutty. Actually, no, that's the hazelnut I'm getting. It's not the it's not the nutmeg. I'm getting the hazelnut and a little bit of the pumpkin, <clears throat> and it's, it's just a very dark. It's like a dark nutty sense. That that's that's really kind of what I would I would describe it as. So, you know, because I'm all about matching things, <laughs> I'm going with Australian Private Reserve aftershave. Uh, this one is General Ledger. <clears throat> this is more of a, uh, the, the scent notes in this don't have come anything close to that. This is one of those things, I just smelled it, and I thought, you know what, it's kind of a, a yin and yang to it. This is a much brighter, almost almost spring scent to this, so I kind of wanted to just balance the two out, and I, that's what I went with. So, of course, as far as after the shave is concerned, we're going to be always using our Thayer's Witch Hazel in the JD spray bottle here. We'll set that aside. And uh, for making the lather, we're going West Coast Shaving. Two-tone tall, synthetic knot brush. This is the second generation boss knot, by the way. A little bit better than the first generation. As far as the mowing of the face is concerned, going with restored Wayne Butcher. Not fully, fully restored. You can see a little, a couple of little things in there, but that's all right, because we, uh, we'll go with that. Adds character. So, Wade and Butcher, restored razor there. <clears throat> we got our bowl. We got our aftershave ready to go. <clears throat> Let's go with the water. Beautiful day outside, just got done doing a run. And uh, showered, ready to go. I'm just gonna 
introduce just a couple of droplets of water in there. And uh, I think later on I'll be getting outside to do some archery or something, maybe some projects around the house. So, all right. Without further ado, let's get this soap lathered. Those of you that may have may not have seen some of my other uh, uh, videos on, on Southern Witchcraft, if you're just joining us, if you're a new, subscri a new subscriber or a new viewer, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and lather this up. Now, it is a softer soap, um, although I found, I've been finding that... Uh, it doesn't necessarily need a ton of water, but it can take a ton of water, which is okay. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people out there, I'm kind of in the minority on this, and I, I understand that, and I'm okay with that. A lot of people out there say that they like a soap that's thirsty. Well, it's a good sign of a soap. It's a, it's a sign of a good, you know, and I used to kind of think that, but I've changed my opinion on that. It, it's not that it's not, it's not that it's a sign of a bad soap. To me, it's a sign of a kind of high maintenance like i don't i don't want to i don't want to have to screw with a soap I, you know what i mean and and if it can take a lot of water that's one thing if it doesn't if it needs a lot of water that's something else um you know it's one thing for a soap to you know maybe that it can take a lot of abuse <laughs> meaning that you know you can add a ton of water to it and, and it'll work great meaning you know less chance of overhydrating it or you can add a little bit of water in, into it, and it still works great because it doesn't require a ton. So I, I like that kind of medium brown there. I like I like the soap to not necessarily need a ton of water, but it can take it. And um, and uh, for, that's for me because I, I don't want to have to play around with it. I don't want to have to dial it in and then. Especially where I'm trying so many different soaps and doing different things, <clears throat> I don't want to spend a lot of time messing with it. Unless I, unless I actually, unless I, you know, have the desire to mess with a particular soap, I want to see what it can do or whatever. Okay, we're just about uh, still a little on the dry side for me. I like to bring it right to the edge of being overhydrated, but not quite. Gonna put that around a little bit more. And a little bit more water. There we go. Just a couple more droplets. And those little air bubbles are disappearing. I'm getting that yogurt consistency. There we go. That look at a kind of a the peaks on that. It's actually a little bit lighter today. It's not. It's probably not as good. It's not the soap's fault. It's probably me. Um, not as not as dense of a lather as I had yesterday. Oh well. More water the face. And let's go here. go ah. I don't recommend eating the soap it's disgusting and I'm sure it offers no caloric uh, benefit at all all right first pass let's get this done
nice. Very nice. Very slick, no complaints here. Now I haven't actually spoken with the owners at all. Um, very, very briefly maybe here and there. So I have no idea what their take is on wet shaving. I don't know any much about the company at all. This is just me. This is just me trying them out. Um, one of those things where it could go either way. I try not, I try, and I cannot saying I always succeed. I try to um, not take an influence from other people on, on soaps when I get them. Uh, that's why I haven't heard a whole lot about Southern Witchcraft, which is why I was excited to give them a shot. But it's hard when you, know, you belong to all the groups and everything. And You see the shave of the days and stuff like that. All right, good first pass. So sometimes you don't mean to, you know, you don't want to form an opinion, but it's hard not to see other people's opinions sometimes with all the social media that um, that's available. So, sand strength on this, I'd say it's about a four. It's not overly strong at all. Which, I think I mentioned before in some of their other things, I kind of like that because I find some of their scents to be... I think if the scent strength was really high on this, I probably wouldn't care for it all that much. And this is, this is definitely, I think this is a soap that would um, be great around exactly what it's geared towards, like the fall or the end of fall, you know, like um, Halloween-ish. Hence the name. Which I think is, uh, I think they, they nailed it, you know, when they, I don't know which came first, the name or the soap. But, um, assuming the, the soap came first and they said, what are we going to call it? I think that this was, an, this was aptly named. Now, I 
I see some new guys <clears throat> out there. Uh, sometimes, uh, I was noticing this last night actually, some people were, they were talking about some soaps and they were saying, they were smelling um, a particular soap, it doesn't matter which one. And this soap had a lot of uh, scent notes to it. And the, the person was commenting on what they could pick up and what they couldn't. And they made the comment that they couldn't, <clears throat> excuse me, pick up a certain note. They said, well, I, don't, I don't pick up this. I pick up this, this, and that, but I don't pick up this. <clears throat> and they're like, I can't pick up a lot of the notes in it. <clears throat> and I wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit because I, I briefed on it a little bit last night. Um, but I wanted to follow up with it. And this is not a dig at all. This is just a, an explanation, I think, for, for lack of a better word. When you have a big scent profile, in my opinion, again, this is all my opinion, so take it for whatever it's worth, probably nothing. Anyway, you have a big scent profile, you can't, you don't, you're not always meant to detect every single note. I can't remember the name of the process for it, I don't really care anyway, but sometimes artisans have to give a certain whole bunch of notes in order to grab you know, they're looking for one particular scent note and in order to make that note happen they've got to include a whole bunch of others it's a bit, it's a bit like building with Legos you need a whole bunch of small pieces to make the big picture and so a lot of times and that doesn't always work don't get me wrong I'm not always a fan of complicated scent profiles but sometimes people will he see that and they'll say, well, I don't get every single note. Well, you're not necessarily meant to either. Um, they're just supporting notes to make something else. That's how I see it. I almost said that's the way I heard it, but I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to steal somebody else's uh, saying. Mike Rowe, you guys ever do podcasts? Mike Rowe's got one called uh, "The Way I Heard It." Tell some pretty good stories. Those of you that don't know who he is, he's a. He usually narrates television. He narrates Deadliest Catch, which is a show on um, Discovery Channel. Which I believe actually a new episode aired last night or tonight. I'm gonna check that out. Anyway, but yeah, so uh, I'm a big fan of his. I didn't want to steal his uh, his wording, although I don't think he would care from me. But that's not the point.
this razor needs to be honed. That I can tell you right now. I've used it just a little bit too much. That are a good stropping. I haven't figured that out yet. I'll strop it, try it once more, and if it's still not cutting like I want it to, then I will have to hone it or have it be honed. Not getting a bad shave, just not as close as I like. Good stuff, good stuff. Still picking up that hazelnut for me. Uh, the base. So far in my trials on this stuff, the base has been really nice. Um, I have no complaints on it. Um, I'm actually surprised I don't, I didn't, I haven't seen a whole lot <clears throat> from these guys. Um, I know the scents are a little different but they're you know they're right on the market uh, right on the money for price I think they're right where they should be let's go against the grain go there we go <clears throat> slower shave today than usual as I said I think this thing needs to be honed you guys ever have any uh, <clears throat> areas I don't care how long you've been wet shaving a day 100 years you ever have the areas on your face that are just always giving you problems? You just can't quite get it. I had that even with it when I was using a DE on my face. Yeah. 
Yeah, neck, neck's not quite as uh, <clears throat> smooth as I want it to be. Feels all right. It looks okay, but. I can just feel it. I can actually hear it. Hear that? Oh well. Let's see if we can uh, clean up the stash a little bit. Mighty nice, mighty nice. call it on that one most of you are probably looking at it going well Jesus you've done enough passes well, that's what I do yeah I can still feel it right in here this is like all stubbly Even if I go <clears throat> the true against the grain, which is actually this way, I won't I won't get it. Yeah. Oh well. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this razor in the uh the honing pile. I got a couple of them that needs to be done up, so we'll we'll put that one there as well. Still got a ton of lather left over, as you can see, and that's okay. Oh, great shave, though. I mean, you know, it's not as smooth as I like it. No nicks or cuts. No irritation. A little bit of. there <clears throat> as far as the lather exploration afterwards let's check out the peaks here <clears throat> yeah still I mean despite the fact that I said it, it didn't it's not as dense as it was yesterday I think that's my fault though um, but still I mean look at the peaks on that thing I, I, I have no complaints no complaints at all I, I think that if I were to use this stuff regularly um, or I had something like this that I, or this that I would use on a regular basis, I would be getting uh, good shaves. So, all right, let's dry the brush off. that all right <clears throat> throw a little bit of after the shave on nice well ladies and gentlemen that is the shave I think I've touched on every aspect I wanted to sample and shave thank you very much for joining me it's fantastic fantastic shave as usual just not as close but that's okay. We'll get that razor honed up, and I have plenty of others to choose uh, choose from in the meantime. So, 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this shade, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this uh, channel and you want to subscribe, please do, show, do so, but make sure you knock that bell every time. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaven. I need coffee. Having said that, I hope if everybody shaves today, they have a great shave, great rest of the day, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.